see this SQL server selection policy. Here you can specify some conditions, like for example, what is the operating system that you want this to support. In my case, I'll just simply say something like, okay, the version should be, you know, equal or greater than, uh, where is it? Version 10, uh, 2008 R2 is 10.5. So this means this supports 2008. Once this is done, I'll simply say, build this project. And it seems that everything is OK. And w remember, what's the result of the build? A DAC pack file, yeah. So I'll just go and copy this loca the location of this file. Go back to SQL Server. Now here is where it gets interesting. Because what you will do is you, you should send this file, right, to the DB admin. Tell them, please, just you know, deploy this. The DB admin just needs to go here and say what? Upgrade. I have a new version of this application. Now, where is the location? This is the location. Now it's going to check whether, whether this is the same database we're discussing. You know, the condition I just provided is valid. But this is one thing. Even if it's not, the DB admin could still ignore what you're saying. It's just a way of telling the DB admin, hey, this is what I'm saying. It should be this. Whether, sorry. Somewhere. Uh, how do you think cable? Yeah. Oops. Mm. Anyway, I'll have to wait until this comes back alive. Uh, key password. Anyway, let me discuss the other things that you know will appear once this uh, wizard is finished. There's a huge difference in the way that I mean this is deployed compared to database project. In database project, you just execute the script on the database, and that's it. While what happens in data tier application is SQL Server goes to your database, uh, DAC demo, right? DAC demo database, and it actually copies the database, you know, to, to an older version, like DAC underscore whatever number. And then it, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 does all the changes or deploy all the changes on the other copy which is running right now. Do you know what this means? It's double size. This is one of the reasons why I'm telling you you shouldn't do this with huge databases. You need double the size for this operation to run. So it actually does it for, you, you have right now two databases, one with the new changes and one with the old ones. OK? I don't think it's closed. It's OK. I'm gonna <laughs> it's just. So uh, another, another uh, issue with this way of deploying is that um, during this time, the time you're upgrading your application, you know, the performance will be down, okay, because you're actually copying, reading everything to the other side. And this is, of course, not a choice for huge applications, right? I mean, for small to medium-sized applications, yes, this is very much acceptable. I, I, I doubt that even more than 70 to 80 percent will accept more than one hour even of downtime. But for some cases in which, no, you need to run this, you know, uh, your application is running 24 by 7, then yes, you shouldn't go with data tier applications. You should go back to database projects. Uh, let's see.
By the way, uh, who here has worked with SQL Azure? You heard about SQL Azure? You're just hearing about Windows Azure, huh? And nobody <laughs> knows about SQL Azure. Well, it's the same idea. Microsoft is giving you space to upload your databases, you know, on the cloud. Now, what does this have to do with this? Well, this is what, uh, one other limitation of data uh, tier applications. You can deploy your DAC pack on SQL Azure on the net, but you cannot upgrade. So far, Microsoft is saying, yes, in the near future, we're trying to do this on SQL Azure. But for the time being, no, you can only deploy it the first time with the DAC pack. OK, Visual Studio. Again, I'm going to upgrade this. Problem is, I don't really remember what the location is. I think it's somewhere. No, the location of the uh, DAC pack for the project. It should be somewhere in the documents, I think. Uh, in Visual Studio Projects. And Database 2. I think so. Well, Visual Studio is still not up. Hmm? Stop exposing my machine value. <laughs> I think it's an odd, yeah. Probably. Open debug. Yeah, probably this is it. So, uh, that's just. Next. Anyway, yes, next. Now, uh, what does this mean when, you know, applying the DAC? Remember, the data itself, I mean, you cannot really, you know, deploy data with this way, right? This is just for uh, schema. But what happens is, what if I need to put data through the project also itself, the DAC pack? What you need to do is you need to create this still in a script way, prepare a script that will insert or update, and include it within the project itself. Now, uh, see, everything is almost it right here. Okay, just making sure the project is still running. Yeah, looks like everything is running fine. So this is finished. And right now, in, in, uh, I can see that I have another database called DAC demo, whatever the version number is. So two copies of the database. This is the old one. So if I open this, I'll only see the table employees, right? While if I go to DAC demo, the new one, you know, I, I can see the store procedure, the new store procedure that I just created in the database project. Everything is deployed in just this step. Anyway, just to get back here, let me show you some other quick examples. Oof, I have many. Okay, so let me show you another feature. 